Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we will learn about uh, uh, loading data into our registration form for updating. Uh, so we will select a row in this uh, data grid view and we will double click on it and it will take us to the registration form and we will get the ID from student ID from that row and uh, we will get the data from the database with that student ID and we will show it in this uh, registration form and then we will update uh, it so now I'll close this I'll close this as well so first we have to create the double click event on this so we I'm in this uh, events tab of this data grid view so if I go down and search for double click so it is here so I'll double click on this to create this double click event now here we will get the first uh, we will get the selected row and then we will get the student ID from the selected row so I'll use end uh, selected uh, row equals uh, dvg uh, student dot um, rows dot get uh, first row and then we will pass in uh, data grid view state it is intelligence is showing us so data grid view uh, state dot selected and uh, now we have the uh, selected row so now we will get uh, the ID from this row so now we will use here and std id equals um, dvg student dot uh, rows and uh, we will pass in the row selected row here selected row dot uh, cells and then we will pass in the cell name so the cell name is uh, uh, student id and now uh, then we will pass in the value so value and now it is saying that uh, oh, you cannot convert it to integers so I'll put semicolon here and um, to convert this we will use the convert uh, method so convert dot to and 16 and now uh, I'll enclose it in small brackets so now we are good to go so now we have to pass this ID into our next uh, uh, forms but first let's let's check this if it is working so now if I double click on this now it has thrown an exception so column name student ID cannot be found now if uh, we go here or stop this and uh, rerun this so we have misspelled this is a student ID so I'll go to our store position and fix this so for that I will come here and uh, we will go and I will use uh, T here and now I'll execute this now it is successfully executed so now if I run this again stop this and uh, rerun this and now if I double click on this now it is working so I'll close it now we will uh, create properties in our registration form so I'll go to this and to its code and uh, now here we will create uh, our property so first I will declare two variables private um, uh, int student id and uh, I'll use underscore with it so underscore student id uh, and uh, it will be equal to zero semicolon and then um, private 
bool uh, underscore is update uh, equal to equal to false semicolon and now we will create our um, property so uh, public uh, ent stdid and then we will use this and uh, get uh, semicolon and set semicolon now we will get our uh, uh, or use our uh, uh, property another property part is update so public uh, and bowl is um, update and uh, here we will use curly braces and then uh, we will use uh, get semicolon and set semicolon now our properties are created so we will go to our manual form dot um, dot and here we will pass in the uh, values so for that we will pass to create the uh, object crop registration form so registration form this one and now we equals new registration form and now I'll put semicolon here now we will show the registration form so registration form dot show dialog so now it is shown so I'll put semicolon here now we will give pass in the uh, properties here so registration form dot um, stdid equals to uh, stdid uh, semicolon and uh, registration uh, form dot uh, um, is update equals to true semicolon so now we have passed in our properties now let's check it if it is working so now if I double click on this now you can see our registration form is opening and our data our id is transferring here so now we will code here for uh, getting data into this form so i'll close this and i'll close this as well now we will go to our registration form so i'll come to this uh, registration form dot c is uh, now i'll go down to our form load event so here is our uh, registration form so it is here so now here we will uh, create another method which will load data into this registration form so I'll come here uh, load public or private wide uh, load data for update and now we will put uh, this now our uh, method is created so now we will code here so we will create a, a data table here data table and student student record equals to new data table and now we are getting uh, we are going to get the connection string so first we will be using um, s cable um, s cable Cable connection uh, cable connection equals to new cable connection and then we will use curly braces and uh, we have to put small brackets here and we have to do pass the connection string uh, connection string here 
now we will use the command uh, from where the, from where this connection string is coming it is uh, we have globally and our past tutorial uh, or the second one we have created it here now we'll go down using and uh, skvl command uh, cmd is equal to new skvl command and now we will pass in here the uh, stored procedure uh, as well as the connection string so first we will create the stored procedure so i'll come here and uh, to this and uh, here we will create a stored procedure new stored procedure and i'll select a this and uh, uh, backspace now we will create a stored procedure so create proc get student record by id this is our stored procedure and then if we have a any uh, parameter to pass so i'll use a student id which is integer and and now we will we'll use the select uh, query so for that we will use as here begin here and now the select query so i'll uh, copy the query from here that we have created before so i'll copy this up to this i'll control c this and i'll control v it here now here we are getting a student id name father name uh skill in uh, c sharp uh, uh and uh we will remove this i'll remove this or i will create i will write a new one or we will uh, come here and uh, right click on this table uh, where is our table this is uh, so i'll right click on this std table and we will use select up 1000 records and from here i will copy this i'll copy this and now we will go to our uh, query and i'll control v this and here i will use view uh, std underscore id equals at student uh, id we will use end here but we have to use the select here yeah now we are good to go so we will execute this now our stored procedure is created so i'll copy this from here control c this and now we'll go here and uh, i'll uh, use it here double quotes and control v and now we will use the connection scale connection and now we will use uh, this uh, uh, scale connection dot open and uh, i'll put semicolon here now we will uh, use cmd dot command uh, type which is equal to command type dot uh, store procedure now we will provide the um, on the parameter so parameter add param not param 
so parameters dot add with value and here we will pass in add um, I'll copy the parameter from here and this is the parameter it's student ID uh, not with int without int control C this and now I'll go here and I'll control V it here a student ID comma and we will pass in the uh, value which is uh, this dot std id now I'll put semicolon here now uh, we will uh, load this data or uh, read this data so is given in data reader reader uh, equals to new SQL data reader and now not new SQL data reader but cmd dot execute reader and all put semicolon now we will load the data into our uh, data table so uh, student record dot uh, dot load and now we will use reader and now I'll put semicolon here now this code is complete so data is loaded into our uh, our uh, reader so I will use here if this dot is update if this dot is update uh, is true then do what then load uh, load uh, data for update this method would be called so in this method will return us a data table so data table and uh, at the end we will go and return um, we will find the method end so for that I will come here so this is the end so here I will return uh, student record semicolon now we have returned the student record table here so uh, we will catch the data table here data table uh, std record equals now we will get the data from this data table and show it in our form as we have all the records now in uh, this uh, data table so now we will get uh, uh, we have only one record in this one row so we will get the row from this data table and uh, we will get each uh, column from that row so uh, data row row equals to uh, std uh, record dot uh, rows and as we have only one row so we'll pass in zero and now I'll put semicolon here so now we have the row so now we will get the records uh, from this our columns from this row so now I'll close this and now we will use um, uh, name uh, underscore text box dot uh, text equals to row and then we have a uh, std underscore uh, name and then dot to string and then now I'll put semicolon now we have the father name text box so if name uh, text box dot uh, text uh, equal to row and uh, std underscore f name now where these uh, column names are coming from so as we get this uh, this data from our table here 
here so it is uh, these column names std name or uh, std father name and this is and c shop so uh, so this data is coming in this row so now i'll copy this and go here now if i run this right now and now if i double click on this uh, record now you can see tanvir khan and ahmad khan name and father name are coming into the, uh, its uh, text boxes now we will uh, append all the records into this uh, registration form so i'll come here now we will have we have uh, the which record we have next we have a uh, skill and c shop so i'll come here and is uh, skilled and c shop dot checked so i'll use uh, equal to row and then uh, skill and c shop control control v so this is the column name and now i'll put semicolon now it is showing an error so what is the error uh, object name cannot implement is converting object to ball so we will convert it to boolean so convert convert dot we have misspelled the convert convert dot to boolean this one and i will enclose this in this now i'll backspace this and now i'll do this now if i execute this right now and now if i double click on this now uh, skill in c sharp not now no and if i select this first one now you can see skill in c sharp is checked so now we will do the same for the rest of them as well so i'll come here i'll copy this control c this and now i'll enter control v and control v again so now and we will uh, change this as skilled in java and uh, we will copy the column name from here is skilled in java i'll copy it from here control c this and now we'll go here to our code and control v it here Control V. I'll backspace this one, and uh, similarly we will use this. Is skill in Python, and we will do this, and I will remove this, and we will go here. Copy this. Control C this, and now we will Control V it here now the next thing we will do is uh, we will uh, convert the gender so uh, the gender id we are using is uh, if i select this from and this db table std table and now if i execute this now we have we are using gender id one and two one and two one for male two for female so now first we will convert this to so uh, gender btn dot checked equals it is not gender id it is a uh, gender button it is 
mail btn dot checked equal to so now we have to convert convert uh, dot to boolean and now we will use row dot uh, row and here we will use gender underscore id and i'll put semicolon here now we will execute this now if i check this first record so now mail is uh, his mail now if uh, but female button is uh, now we will code for female so uh, female is not showing up so I'll go to design and uh, click on this and check its name so F mail button so I'll go here to registration so F mail btn dot checked and now we will use uh, uh, convert dot to boolean I've used small bracket but we do not need them so convert dot uh, to boolean and here I will use row and here I will pass in the same gender underscore id and now I'll put semicolon here now if I execute this and now if I double click this Sarah now female is checked and now if I close this and select this Tanvir now you can see female is checked so the problem is we have to convert this to end and we have to use uh, uh, we have to convert this into integer and then we have to use if else dot to end 16 and I will also change this to end uh, 16 and then we will use uh, fls if we have used uh, 0 1 per uh, male female then we do not, do not need to convert this to n16 and then use fls but we have converted it to uh, we have used uh, the 1 and 2 as ids for uh, male and female so that is why so we will go to our code so now this is showing error because uh, uh, it should uh, return a boolean value but it is uh, returning an object so I'll uh, enclose it in and this and uh, we will use here equal to equal to one then uh, return uh, true question mark and true else else return false similarly we will do the same for this one as well so I'll enclose it first but here we will use equal to equal to two then return true question mark true and else false so now if I run this and now if I select this uh, Saima so female and now if I select this Tanvir now male so now we are good to go so now we will go for this and now I'll close this I'll close this as well now I'll go here and we will use uh, D O B picker dot value equals then um, we will use row 
and then here we will pass in the value of uh, uh, DOB we will check the column if it is DOB yes it is DOB and we will uh, DOB and we will convert it to uh, dead time so convert convert dot to date time and we will enclose this I'll put semicolon here and at the end I will use date dot date and now we will check this now if I double click on this now you can see that is shown here now we will uh, similarly we will use time so I'll close this I'll close this as well I'll uh, uh, copy this control C this and I'll uh, control V this and uh, I'll make this uh, admission time picker and then we will use at the end time of the day and now if I execute this so time of the day is showing error so we will remove this from here and now we will check this without any thing now if I double click on this now it is showing 0 0 as time so if I close this and if I check the time here so it is 11 admission time is 11 42 now if I click on this this is also showing 0 0 so now we will fix this close this close this as well so it is showing uh, 0 0 because we haven't changed the column name so I'll go here and uh, copy the column name control C this and now I'll uh, control B it uh, here and control B and now I'll stop this and rerun this and now if I double click on this now it is showing error column uh, does not belong to table so I'll remove this because we have made some errors here so I'll remove this and I'll remove this as well and now control Z this control Z this control Z this and now I'll remove this one only this one and now let's rerun this and let's check this and now if I double click column now you can see that the time is coming here now I'll close it down uh, and now we get the district so now I'll close it down as well and now here we will use uh, so here we will use district combo box dot uh, selected value what is not showing up dot uh, selected value this one equals to we will convert it to integer so convert dot to end uh, 16 and here we will pass in the uh, row and then we will pass in the column name which is district underscore ID and now I'll put semicolon here now let's check this so now if I double click on this now it is showing an error because we have misspelled this district so I'll close this and I'll add in a T here and rerun this again 
now if I double click on this now Peshawar here we it is using Peshawar now if I double click on this now here we are selecting now share if I close this and if I show you and now if I click this DIK column so if I double click now you can see the district is DIK so we have uh, added all the values into our uh, registration form for update so in the next tutorial we will use the update query and update this data so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you